Hello everyone, this is Mayank Sangvi from vlamon.com and I'm back with another Power BI desktop tutorial video and in this video we will discuss about Power BI desktop user interface. For this video we are going to refer to this blog post. Blog post URL is available in the description of this video or you can click on this notification icon. Now let's first check how to launch Power BI desktop. For Windows 10 user you need to click on start. And this is all available application in my system. I want to narrow down my search. So that's why I'm going to click on any of this uh, letters. So I'm going to click on letters and this is all the available letters. And now I'm going to click on P, P for Power BI. I'm going to click on P and this is our Power BI desktop. Click on this shortcut to launch Power BI desktop. If you want to create a shortcut, you can right click on this and then you can select pin to taskbar if you are going to click on this one this is a new shortcut is created on our taskbar okay if you want to create a if you want to pin this shortcut on this start then you can click on this one our shortcut is created on start menu okay so this is how you can launch for via desktop on windows 10 for Windows 8 user, let me open my Windows 8 machine. For personal, group or online training, contact us. Uh, we have a shortcut on desktop. You can use this one to launch Power BI desktop. Or if you don't have any desktop shortcut, then you need to click on Windows, All Apps, Power BI desktop shortcut. Click on this one to launch Power BI desktop. Finally, Power BI desktop is launched successfully. The first dialog is for registration. I don't want to perform any registration or sign up. So that's why I'm going to click on already have a Power BI account sign in. So let's click on this URL. This is sign in dialog. If you have a Power BI desktop account, feel free to sign in. But I don't have any account. So that's why I'm going to click on close dialog. Now why we are not performing any sign in or sign up for sign up or sign in you must require a valid organization or school email id. I don't have any organization or school email id. I have one but we are going to use the same in our upcoming videos. For the time being skip it. If you have an organization or school account feel free to use. Now this is the start screen dialog. And let me quickly share the error message in case you are going to use a Gmail account. Okay, so this is the error message when you are using or when you are trying to use a Gmail account or Hotmail account. Okay, so this is about the sign in and sign up. Let me minimize this one. And this is our start dialog or you can say start screen. Our start screen is divided in three different sections. In the first section, we have an option to get the data, get data. When we are going to click on this, we need to provide a data source connection and using the data source connection, Power BI is going to fetch the data for reporting. Next option is for recent sources. If previously you used some data source, then you can use this option to reuse the same data sources. On the same section, you can find the recently open Power BI reports. Right now, this Power BI installation is the fresh installation. So that's why you're not able to see any existing open. You're not able to see any recent history. Let me share one more image. Let me open my blog post. And this is the Power BI desktop for my Windows 10 machine. And here we have recent history for previously open workbook. Next in the middle we have section number 2 and here we can perform a sign up or sign in operation and if you already logged in then you are able to see this and in the right we have some quick links for news, blog, forums and tutorials. If you want to visit any of this feel free to visit. I want to close this start screen or start dialog for this i am click on this cross on the top we have application title bar in application title bar we can find the power bi desktop report name in the center on the right we have option to minimize maximize and close the power bi desktop and below this we have 
option to perform a sign in again it is going to open the same dialog box so let me click on close and let me open power bi desktop from my windows 10 okay on the left we have quick option to perform a save undo and redo you can hide this icon if you want so our save undo and redo option is now hidden again click on the same options to enable it okay now my all the options are now enabled next two option is for move this option below the ribbon if i'm going to click on this our option is now below this ribbon let me move it back to above the ribbon okay and this is my power bi desktop on windows 10 machine and here is my account information so let me quickly close the start dialog and if i'm going to click on this this is my name and my email id power bi services account setting and we can we have an option to switch between different account let's discuss about different types of ribbons available in power bi desktop the first ribbon is the home ribbon in this we have some basic operations such as cut copy paste we can create a new data source we can retrieve the data using the data source we can edit the queries we can access the marketplace we are going to learn more about this home ribbon in our upcoming videos next is the view ribbon in this we can enable the grid lines we can enable the snipping for the objects again we are going to learn more about all this when we are going to add elements on our reports okay so what is the important of snapping how your grid lines is going to help you to arrange your elements properly next we have modeling so modeling ribbon is used for your data modeling or to perform transformation or edit your data again we are going to discuss more about modelings when we are going to create data source next is the help ribbon under help ribbon you can find quick links for video tutorials blogs and others again we are going to explore more about help ribbon in our upcoming videos and on the right we also have an option to minimize and expand the ribbon okay if you want more work area then you can minimize the ribbon from here and if you want to expand the ribbon you can again click on this one the keyboard shortcut for this is control f1 control f1 to hide the ribbon and control f1 to display the ribbon you can access the ribbon items with alt okay so if i want to select anything from home i'm going to press s and then let's say i want to import data using get data then i'm going to press g and here we have multiple data source option we are going to learn more about data source option in our upcoming videos when our, when we selected any visual element two more ribbons are active by default these two ribbons are hidden so let me delete this and now our those two ribbons are gone those two ribbons are for formatting your visual element and to control the drill and drill down operation we are going to learn more about formatting and drill up and drill down in our upcoming videos next we have this three tabs the first one is the report tab by default it is selected when report tab is selected you are able to add new page or you can edit the existing page for your reports next is the data type data type is used for performing any transformation or editing on your data the last tab is for creating the relationship so let's say in your data you have multiple tables and if you want to create a relationship between both the tables you can use relation tab so let me switch back to report tab and on report tab in the center we have our main work area or you can say this is our canvas on which we can add our visual elements in the bottom we have option to add new pages this option is similar with excel adding worksheet you can add new worksheet you can add new pages you can perform a rename you can delete it you can hide it and you can perform duplicate operation 
Next, we have visualization. Under visualizations, we have all the available support via visualization. We can add a new visualization. So let's say I want to add this one. Let's add this pie chart and so on. Okay. So using visualization, you can add multiple visualization on your reports. Next, we have fields. Next, we have fields. Under fields, we have values, filters and drill through. So let's say if you want to add any field in this element, you are going to drag and drop fields here or here. So right now we don't have any data source connection. So we are not able to demonstrate it, but definitely we are going to cover this in our upcoming videos. Next option is for style and formatting for our report elements. Okay. And on the right, we have fill pane. Under fill pane, you can find all the available tables and columns. If you want to perform any search, we can quickly perform a search for required column or table. In our next video, we are going to create a new data source connection and we are going to import data from our CSV file. And then we are going to learn more about fields and data addition, data transformation. So this is a brief about Power BI user interface. We are going to learn more about Power BI user interface in our upcoming videos. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, don't forget to click on like, subscribe, share it with everyone, provide your feedback and see you all in next Power BI desktop tutorial video. Some important viewers.